Hey guys, this is a continuation of my Dollar Tree haul. This particular batch was pur purchased from the Luling, Louisiana Dollar Tree in December of 2015. Um, I had gone back and I noticed that they changed out all their art supplies, um, which meant I had access to many that weren't available when I first purchased for that particular review series in August. So let me go over what I was able to get. I was able to get a drawing pad. This was the only drawing pad they had. It's a doodle paper pad by Payson. Pacon? Not super sure how to pronounce it. That's the same company. It's like the parent company that also makes Strathmore. Um, and I reviewed a Pacon slash Payson marker pad from Walmart in my Walmart art supply review series and it wasn't bad. So I figured I'd give it a shot and it's definitely like newsprint. I mean clearly they're not trying to woo artists but um it was the only drawing paper dollar tree had so i grabbed that i also was finally able to find a set of watercolors these are very similar to the ones sold uh at target or crayola watercolors they're little glistering cakes i was also able to find i'm sorry i don't have any of the packaging for this i had to break it down in order to be able to pack all this up and fly it back um, I also found um, some dual tip markers, which are much nicer than the um, felt tip markers I'd originally purchased for this review, although my color selection is much more limited. Um, but the majority of what I was able to find were pins. I found some pretty cool little gel pins. I found some pretty decent metallic pins. I found some multicultural, multi colored ballpoint pins that are kind of finicky about what they want to write on. I found some more multicolored uh, ballpoint pins. These are gel pins. So um, if you're interested in seeing what I'm able to do with these supplies, I recommend you check natosoup.blogspot.com uh, because I'm working on my Dollar Tree review series and it's sort of like a deconstructed cheap art supply challenge where I systematically review each individual supply on its own um, and then I let my readers know whether it's worth it or not. So um, I hope you guys will check that out and I'll talk to you later. Thanks guys. Have a good day. Bye.